I look at those sexy legs. So if you haven't seen yesterday's vlog, it's pretty darn funny because of the kids. Not because of me, because of the kids, and you should go watch it. But that is uploaded right now. This is what Nuna does after I ignore her bell ringing. She <laughs> She's ringing the doorbell twice because she needs to go outside. So this is what she starts doing. What? What do you want? You go outside? You go outside? Do you need to go outside? Go ring the bell. Go ring the bell. Okay, so I feel bad because I just realized I could have been filming this entire process of making my ramen because you guys have asked on all my social media sites and what I've been putting in it. Um, it's really not hard. I, I'm gonna dig in the trash. No, yeah, I'll dig in the trash. So I use this type of ramen. It's called Shin Ramen. It's the spicy black version. For two people, which is plenty for me and John, I put the Shin Ramen, like the whole packet in with the spices. There's two spice packets that come with it. I put about three cups of water. I don't really pay attention to the directions. I put three to four cups of water, depending on how much stuff I put in the pot on top of that. And then I cut up like a whole stock of uh, green onions. And then I put three heads of bok choy, imitation crab meat, half a can of corn. Then I just throw all of that into the soup with the water and I just stir it until it's like boiled and noodles are cooked through. Uh, I usually put mushrooms in as well and I just throw those in at the beginning. Like I throw everything in at the same time. I usually put mushrooms in but I didn't have enough room in my pot because I chose to use a smaller pot and I wasn't really feeling onions to or mushrooms today. Did I say onions? I meant mushrooms. So I didn't put mushrooms in. That's the only thing that's missing out of here right now. And then I just kind of stir it and I watch it until it's cooked down and all the noodles are cooked and all that. It's really easy. Like I said, I just throw all those things in at once and change it too. Sometimes we use pork balls, sometimes we use fish balls. It just depends on how I'm feeling or how John's feeling. We've been really enjoying having the imitation crab meat though. So I'm testing out my little mini rice cooker and I think the measurements online and on the website are totally off by quite a bit because this is supposed to hold or cook about one to one and a half cups of cooked or uncooked rice. And I put, how much did I put in here? I put one cup in and it was like bubbling over and overflowing. So I think a half a cup is where I need to stick to with this rice cooker, but that's fine because it's just meant for me and John or just me or me and Kaya. So, because Kaya likes white rice. So, yeah, it'll work for that, but we'll see how it tastes. It's still super adorable though. I mean, look at how small it is. <laughs> so my favorite part about this soup is the fried egg on top. It's basically just an over easy egg. I like to have two of mine. Then you add two slices of pepper jack cheese, or at least I like two. Then add your eggs. And then they're done. And then last but not least, I like to add sriracha. And then if you're lucky, your egg will just come out perfectly like that. Actually, there's two eggs. And that's all I do. And then this is just uh, white rice with kimchi, uh, fresh tomatoes from our garden, green onion, another fried egg, and sriracha on top, which I like that as actually a breakfast meal, which is really weird, but I like to eat this for breakfast, so since I'm eating lunch and breakfast together, I figured, why not? Yes. Can I offer you a full bottle of water? No, thank you. I have Are you sure? Okay. So is that one cup of rice, Kelly? Yeah. Well, that'd be plenty. I think I could go with half. Are you trying to break your camera? <laughs> so we just had uh, the root people out. They just left. Thankfully, damage is not too bad. They just missed some roots last time they were out. So we weren't charged anything, so that was good. But John had to take the afternoon off so he could be here.
games on, or thingies on, yeah. Because we're hip. This is the first time we've won all three games, so maybe not. Maybe this is the second time. Are you here? No. Have we won three games? Yeah, we won first time we won three games. Oh, oh, against that one team, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Ah, look at those sexy legs. This is where you go to clean off your legs and arms. <laughs> Ray's got a nice tan line going on. Oh, like you guys are in order by like, oh, well, you and John are tied for tanness. I gotta get my legs in here. Uh, me and uh, Ray are about the same. Or what? Oh. Thank you. You have color for Oh, yeah. Oh, the weather turned out. Yeah, for me. Okay. It's actually supposed to rain today, but it didn't. I should try to set Tim up with somebody who follows my videos. Spill all of my taco on my cell phone. Yeah. I'm full. You're Me full. too. And tired. It's good food though. Look at this though. This restaurant's like in a little like grocery store. It's really cool though. And it's yummy. What are you guys doing? <laughs> You're listening to dirty songs outside. Dirty <laughs> songs. I have to ask you guys have you heard of a song called. What is it called? Camel toe. Camel toe. That's the conversation That's right now. Phone. Now I'm gonna have to go home and Google it. On our way home from volleyball, and, and we're dinner. stopping, and we had dinner, and her mom's watching the kids, so we're excited. We're getting her groceries for her. And we're getting some groceries for her. She doesn't have to go out after. Well, she doesn't have to go out after. So we're in the cereal aisle trying to pick out cereal for ourselves, not the kids. John, get your hand out of my pants. Good lord, this man over here. And we're having the great debate of what kind of cereal to get. I want Captain Crunch, but Captain Crunch tends to like tear apart the roof of my mouth. And it leaves like a waxy like feeling on the tongue, but it's so good. And then Lucky Charms is just, it gets like too much. Like I can only have like one or two bowls before I'm like too sugary. My favorite's life, just regular life. Yeah, you're just all about the life. I do like my cookie crisp. I like that honeycomb stuff too. And I love Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but again, if that gets too soggy, it's, it's done. done. That's how life is, you have to eat it immediately. That's how life is too. You have to like pour the milk and start eating. And Fruity Pebbles. <laughs> Fruity Pebbles is just a joke. I like Apple Jacks. Uh, I like Fruit Loops. And then I had to throw this in too. Oh, come on. Here's my quick shopping haul for you guys. <laughs> Lots of cereal. So back when me and John were dating, after we'd go out for a date or after I would get off work from bartending, we would go to Meyer and just walk around and either buy him new socks or undershirts or food or a movie, like a new DVD or something to watch or I don't know, just the dumbest stuff or something to do because Meyer was open 24 hours and I didn't get off work till really late. And we would just walk around Meyer together. Remember that? And we'd just buy crap that we didn't need. Yeah. Yeah. So we have lots of memories, fond memories at Meyer late at night, especially summer nights. Oh, and now, almost eight years later, we're just an old married couple. Not old. <laughs>